and Shruti Pandey grade 7 sitting next to Gary. And this is my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Leopard. I am studying in UKD. Happy, Happy Holi! Welcome to another video of my channel, Code and Bumi Shruti. At the summer holidays are starting shortly, I will be teaching you few gaming app, basic gaming apps in my next few videos. Today, we are going to make a game app known as the Maze Game. Let's quickly see how the app works and its designing part. This is my Maze app. Here, the ball is going to move and if, I, if it collide with any object, it goes to the same starting position. Now, I am going to try not touching any objects. And this is how we play the game. Let's quickly go inside the designing part. Let's quickly see the designing part, the app. Now I'm in my computer. Let's quickly see the designing part. So first, you're going to go to dunkable.com and give get started and sign in. Then, you're going to give student summit and you're going to give start building and give a new project name and i'm going to give this as maze and then you're going to give the create option but today i'm going to explain it because it's a long app so i'm going to go to the maze game So right here, I'll be explaining the design part today. Now, first I gave a screen one uh, to be the stage one, where I give the ball and the obstacles where when I touch it, it collides. So these are the sprites where are the obstacles. I gave a bunch of sprites and uh, you could also select, I'm going to give a wall right here and you could select the design of the wall and then you could give ball right here and I'm going to give a ball and the invisible components right here are gyroscope where when I move my object, as you saw, the ball also moves along. So this is what, and here, what are these images? You could actually go search Google or whatever you want. You could just search the Google and accordingly you could get a ball image or a mix image. That's it. It's a very easy, Designing part is done. And make sure you don't forget to first add a canvas and do whatever things which I told you. By adding a wall type where I'm going to add a bunch of sprites to make it look like a maze. You could give whatever design you want and you could even give an endpoint. But I'm not going to give an endpoint right here because like most of the game doesn't have an endpoint. So I want this to be going throughout. So I'm not having an endpoint or like when you finish it, not winner, nothing like that. I'm having a simple thing. You could also give other observations like adding an endpoint, making more levels and much more. So that's it. The designing part is done. I'll see you in the next video, which is the program part. Wait for my next video to learn about the programming part of the Maze app. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and comment to my video and subscribe my channel. Until then, bye!